I'm here with Adrian Fletcher, coach of the Queensland under 18 side this year. There's a lot of changes to the state program this year, Fletch. Can you just tell me a little bit about them? Yeah, look, um, obviously it was a management role in the past. Um, Bob Batty, who'd been around for a long time and he, and he done a great job. And they changed the philosophy, how it was uh, operating. So they've, they've gone with more coaching philosophy and uh, obviously I, I'm in that job at the present time. It's under 18 and the 16 program. We're trying to change the culture of Queensland footy and, and, it, and it takes a lot of work to do that. And what kind of things are you trying to instill in the guys? Oh, look, I'm trying to get into a footy environment where I grew up in Tassie, Melbourne. I'm trying to get that backyard where you play against your brother and sister in the backyard. That's the best way of learning. So a lot of our drills when they come are five on five, um, by decision making. And look, we only get them for two hours a week, so we've got to squeeze in as much as we can to make sure these kids uh, have a great opportunity, like, like um, get fast tracked in their in their uh, in their roles. And how do you think the guys are tracking? Oh, look, it's um, they've trained with the academy, and we did the same process in the academies. Uh, we had the Lions Academy, and we had 35 training there. We had the Suns Academy, we had 30 training there. We picked the uh, the best kids out of those, and they've been doing backyard games for four months now. So. Hopefully when we put a bit of structure in place and go down and play the Melbourne TAC teams, that we're in good state and we can match the uh, Victorians. Yeah, you have got those six TAP Cup games this year. How do you think the guys will cope with that challenge? Oh, look, it's, it's a big step up for the, for the guys. Um, the, the guys are obviously their bigger pool to pick from, but um, we think our kids are starting to realise what AFL footy is about and you know what footy is about at the uh, next level up. So they professional environment with their diets, um, education outside of footy and, and then their footy. Hopefully we'll give them a great program that will give them opportunities and you know if it's not playing AFL it will be playing, playing NUFL which is a very good standard. And how important do you think it is to establish that like, whole athlete development, I guess, on and off field sort of stuff? Oh, I think it's, it's crucial in a, in a young bloke's, young guy's um, development. You know, they're only 17, 18. Uh, you can't put all your eggs in one basket. We've got to make sure we have a rounded um, personalities. Obviously, education's, I think it's really important at an early age. And then obviously the footy, um, hopefully they come on weekend mentally fresh because they're doing other stuff during the week and that's when they play their best footy. Yeah, so happy footballers are good footballers, right? Yeah, happy footballers are good footballers, but it, 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 it's going to be um, you know, mentally draining because we play nine games and they're, they're quality games. There's the three championships and then we've got the six TAC Cups and we've already played uh, four practice games against each other at high quality standards. Yeah, and you have that first game against Oakley Chargers. What are you expecting from that? Oh, good hit out. They, they won their last game uh, against Eastern Rangers by six goals, so they must have talent. Um, they're probably one of the better teams in the TAC Cup, and uh, we'll have to play our best uh, footy to match them uh, you know, on a small ground down in Melbourne. Yeah, and they had five draftees, I think, last year. Obviously, there's a little bit of a nursery down there. How do you think the guys will match up to that side? Um, it's a good question because... Um, you know, I'm not sure how high the level is in TAC. We haven't done it in the past, um, but it's the best um, footy outside of um, senior footy in the, in, in the program. So go down and play the best. It's uh, apples against apples, and that's to see if you're up to the standard or what you need to do to develop yourself to get to the standard, and, and that's all we can do in our program. And aside from obviously getting a win, what are you looking for the guys to, to show on that game? Oh, look, I'm, I've got five criteria I'm really big on is def defensive acts, kicking efficiency. Um, we've got to make sure we keep the ball. Obviously, um, decision making, um, play your role. And uh, I can't remember the last one. <laughs> we'll get it later. Yeah. But uh, we have five uh, criteria that we think. If you do this, I think it's clean hands actually. If you do this and you do it well consistently, it gives you a good chance to take your game to another level. Brilliant. Thanks, Fletch, and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you.